All right, so today we are looking at the newer 48 volts phantom power supply for XLR microphones. So if you're looking for a budget condenser microphone, you're probably already looking at this budget power supply that runs for about $19. I'm gonna show you how to connect your microphone to this power supply and then how to connect this power supply to your computer. We'll do some microphone test recordings and then also see if we need to tweak the audio, if at all, in post. Don't go anywhere, guys. Up next. Hey, it's Low for Low Nose here to help teach and inspire you through audio, video, and tech. All right, I wanna make this super clear right now. This, this is only a power supply. It is not an audio interface. If you look at the box, there is no USB ports on this power supply whatsoever. This will only, it will only power your microphone. It will be a microphone in into your device and then you have to find a way to get the microphone out of this device into your computer. Now, in order to do this, we're going to use two cables. We're going to use an XLR cable from our microphone to our device. Then we will use a TRS to XLR cable that will go from our power supply to our computer. Now, like I said before, this is not an audio interface. It's not like having a mixer that you would plug your microphone into, which will power the microphone and then going straight to your computer by USB. It's not an audio interface that we connect your microphone to that and then go straight to your computer through USB. Remember again, this is only a power supply. So if you're getting this, do not expect it to you do not expect yourself to connect this directly to your PC off the bat. That is what the TRS2 XLR cable is for. All right, let's set this up. All right, so connecting everything to this power supply can't get any easier. We're gonna connect our XLR cable going from our microphone to our power supply through the input. Once that's set, we will take our TRS to XLR cable and connect it to the output of our power supply. That way we have the, the signal going from our microphone to the input and then the output to our TRS cable. We will then connect our TRS cable to the microphone jack of our PC. Now I highly recommend using the microphone jack in the back of the computer where the motherboard is and not the front microphone jack. Reason being is you want to reduce any kind of additional hiss or whine or noise into your signal because of the USB sticks, the hard drives in the front, just wherever. All, all the electronics are usually like right within that area. So you want to reduce the chance of additional noise into your signal. Next, just connect the power supply. Then press the power on button to activate your phantom power. All right, so once you connect your microphone in, you'll be greeted with a microphone detection from your audio manager. You can go ahead and leave it in as mic in. And you can see how our microphone is selected. And it is now a part of our recording device within our within our sound manager. And this is the microphone connected to our power supply that is going straight to our computer through the microphone. So let's go ahead and open up Audacity. And I'll make sure that my microphone is selected here within a microphone section, here it is. And here is my playback device. And let's go ahead and click on click to start monitoring so we can see our levels. As of right here, we can see, okay, so it, it is picking up our, our levels from the microphone jack that's connected directly to our motherboard. And let's do a little recording right here. Hey, it's Low for Low Nose using the AT4040 connected to the newer power supply, connected directly to the PC through the microphone port. And we're trying to see what it sounds like. Hopefully there is no hiss in the background, but there probably is, so I'll probably have to do Okay, so we can see that the power supply probably gives like a good amount of considerable considerable hiss. Uh, but for $19, you know, let's see if, it, if it's acceptable hiss. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to create a noise reduction profile and get rid of the noise. Let's get the noise, okay. Now let's go ahead and let's add it to our track. And let's see how it sounds now. Hey, it's Low for Low Nose using the AT4040 connected to the newer power supply connected directly to the PC through the microphone port. And we're trying to see what it sounds like Hopefully there is no hiss in the background, but there probably is, so I'll probably have to do some noise reduction. Okay, so I'm not really sure what to think about this. Um, it's promoted all over the place as providing an alternate form of power or proper power for your budget condenser microphones. Um, I'm not really sure if I'd even like to te test this on more expensive microphones, but it does its job. It provides the 48 volts to power your microphone um, at a decent gain. It's, you know, it is $19 
it was a lot. It was very hissy. Uh, looking at the reviews for this online on Amazon, some people, it, it had mixed reviews. Some people were complaining about the hiss, the hiss around the 60 hertz range. Uh, so if you're, familiar, if, you're, if you're familiar with EQ and you can go ahead and just scoop that out, um, go to your 60 hertz and just completely drop the gain on that, it'll probably improve the signal uh, pretty good. Um, you could add a noise reduction to it, but a lot of people said that the buzzing was probably coming to quality assurance, meaning meaning that there's like some kind of loose device or soldering or something inside of here. And some some reviews had people just like, I love this. I got no, there's no noise. There's no nothing. It's just a perfect sound. So it looks like if you were to consider getting this, it looks like it's a, it's a roll of the dice shot in the dark. You never know what you're going to get um, for $19. I really don't know if that's worth it. Um, to me, the, to me, the microphone sound sounded good. It sounded okay. It was just the hiss was just a huge deterring, uh, factor. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a real shot in the dark, uh, but for $19, who knows if you're just starting off, you, you honestly, you can't beat it. Also, what really impressed me was the TRS cable. Um, I would actually recommend getting the TRS to XLR cable. And if you have an out, no, I would actually recommend getting a TRS to XLR cable and getting a really, really cheap mixer that, you know, has nice, clean preamps in it. Maybe like a $40 mixer, um, get the TRS cable. The TRS cable is like nine bucks. Um, connect those two together and plug it directly into your PC and you're good to go. You'll probably get a good sound from that. Um, besides that. I'll probably give this like I'd probably give this device maybe like a four out of ten. Um, but it gets the job done. It gets you started. You're just gonna have to do a lot of heavy noise reduction onto your signals. Okay, guys, if you like the video, go ahead, leave a like. If you loved it, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the power supply and if you want me to do any more tests or comparisons on this. Guys, until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.